Hi and welcome back to the channel. My name's Dan and I'm an old grumpy gamer. In this video we're going through setting up your Grand Theft Auto 5 game for modding and installing your first mod, a native trainer. This works for the Steam and Social Club versions of GTA 5 but at the time of recording the Epic version had not been implemented. If you're new to the channel we do how-to guides, news and giveaways. So if you'd like to stay up to date click that subscribe button and ring the bell. And if you're feeling generous, click that like button too. It really helps us out. In this video, we'll be covering making a backup of your GTA 5 installation, installing the prerequisite applications that mods run on, installing the base mod scripts, installing a native trainer mod, which allows you to change environment settings, player skins, spawns, cars, and a bunch of other stuff. And finally, how to switch between a modded and standard version of your game so you can use Grand Theft Auto Online without getting the ban hammer dropped. Before you take the dive into modding your GTA 5 installation on PC, whether Steam, Rockstar Social or any other platform in the future, you should be aware that modding is fiddly, technical and can go wrong. But it can be really, really rewarding. Just remember that everything is done at your own risk. This is a technical guide and while you don't have to be a support engineer to follow along, we will be digging around the Windows file system. So if you're on a computer that's not yours, be sure to get the permission of the owner before you do anything. First things first, we need to make a backup of the current GTA 5 Online installation. At the time of recording, this backup needed around about 80 gig of drive space. If you do not have that space on your drive, do not proceed. If you don't make a backup, you can't play GTA Online. Alright, let's open Windows Explorer. Navigate to the folder above your installation. For Rockstar Social Club installations, this is normally Program Files, Rockstar Games. And for Steam, it's normally Program Files x86, Steam, Steam Apps, and Common. Copy your installation directory and paste it into the same folder. This might take a while. Next, create a temporary folder somewhere convenient. And now we can start installing the prerequisites. The first one is the .NET Framework 4.8, which can be reached from the URL on the screen or using the link in the description. We'll just wait for that to download. Open up the folder and scan with your favorite antivirus or anti-malware package. In my case, I already had a newer version set up, so there was no need to install this one. Next, we need to collect Visual Studio redistributables. Head to the URL on screen or click the link below. Download the package suitable for your PC's architecture. For most, this will be the x64 package. Scan. And install if needed. Thank you. 
Next up is one of the base mods, the Script Hook 5. This is bundled with our first mod, the Native Trainer. Head to the URL on screen, or click the link below, click download, and then download again. Open the zip file and navigate to the binaries or the bin folder. And copy the contents to the temporary folder we made before. Onto one of the other base mod scripts, the community script hook 5.net. Head to the URL on screen or click the link below. And when you click download, you'll be kicked through to a GitHub page. Click the zip file in the topmost release. And then open the zip file. Copy everything except for the text files into the temporary folder we made before. And finally, the LUA plugin for ScriptHook 5. Head to the URL on screen or click the link below. Click download and download again. And copy the contents, including the scripts folder, into our temporary folder. Open the temporary folder and scan the contents for malware. Now, copy the contents of our temporary folder into the root game folder for Grand Theft Auto. And replace the files if prompted. Let's not forget to clean up after ourselves either. Now we should be able to jump into Grand Theft Auto 5. Remember this only works in story mode. The Rockstar launch will prevent you from accessing Grand Theft Auto Online. Rightly so. And once you've jumped into the game, you can now use the trainer mod. Press the F4 key on your keyboard to bring up the main menu. You may need to hold or press the Fn key to do this as well, depending on your PC setup. Once the menu is up, use your numeric keypad on the right to navigate. So that's the modding taken care of. But what about when we want to get back online? Rockstar won't allow you to use a modded instance in online mode, and nor should they.
So let's exit the game and get this sorted. Open Windows Explorer again and navigate to the Rockstar Games folder again. Rename the Grand Theft Auto 5 folder to Grand Theft Auto 5 modded. Then Rename the Grand Theft Auto 5 backup folder back to Grand Theft Auto 5. Now you can load the game and use online as normal. And simply reverse the process if you want to play a modded game again. Finally, what can you do if it all goes wrong? Your first stop should always be Google. There's a good chance that someone else has already asked and answered questions related to the issue you're facing. The GTA 5 Mods Forum. This is a fantastic resource for help. GTA 5 Mods will also be the main place that you end up searching for new mods. The Steam Forums. Similar to the GTA 5 Mods Forum and a very helpful community. And finally, Arcade which is part of Stack Exchange. The community here is very technical and very helpful. So before you head off, don't forget about our shark card giveaways. Visit oldgrumpygamers.com slash giveaways for details on how to enter or click the link in the description below. If you've missed out on a giveaway or just can't wait for the next one, head on over to oldgrumpygamers.com slash offers for cheap shark cards, games, and other stuff. So thanks for watching. It's been an absolute pleasure having you. If you like what you've seen, click that like button below, it'll really help us out. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe and that notification button. Stay safe, wash your hands, and we'll see you in the next video.